Hey guys, it's JC, the Gospel Centered Health Coach. Look, how fun is this? <laughs> I'm really wondering if this is going to work because we have been laughing our heads <laughs> off, trying to get a straight face moment. We're going to have some fun talking about body image today. This is Callie, my daughter, who is 22. This is Lexi. She is 21. They are the tail end of the family. 13 months apart, really, like twins more than... Mm -hmm siblings but um i wish i could have my older daughter um my two daughter-in-laws we would have quite a conversation wouldn't we but they're living with me right now so i made them do that <laughs> <laughs> no i honestly just wanted a perspective on body image to talk about what it really looks like the real struggles that it is a thing it's a thing for all of us no matter what stage of life we're in beautiful early 20s you think how hard is it right but it is it's a thing um and the other reason i wanted to have them come chat with me on this video is because they grew up listening to their mama talk a lot about this right i i wrote a book on body image and it was it was published in two, 2014 so you were like mid-teens so we've had a lot of conversations on this so the funny thing is you would think it'd be a breeze for you guys like we've been talking, we've been very deliberate about body image and about how to not get swept away by a negative body image, but has that made it easy? <laughs> Honestly, for me, the sad thing is when I did have body image struggles going through like junior high and high school and all those years, I feel like I almost wouldn't communicate it with you through the fear that you would like be disappointed in me of having body image struggles. Yep. And so I think that's the thing with a lot of women is you kind of battle it on your own because you think you're the only one yeah. feeling that way. Yeah. And so for many, many years, I was just kind of battling it in my head and kind of attacking myself and all the things that I saw wrong with myself, but I wasn't going to go and talk about it, which is so good for you when yep. you do have bad body image days to be able to talk through it with someone. But I just wouldn't because I thought that I'd yeah. be like disappointing my mom who was so good in, in body image and all that. But the, now as we've come and talked about it more and openly and like addressed it, I think it helps a lot. Well, and you saw I still had my own stuff Every, too. Well, that's the thing yeah. is, like I said, you think you're the only one battling it. You never but are. Everyone, everyone has something with body mm -hmm. image that so, they're struggling. With. Perfect. You guys talk about some of the things we've talked, and I, I think, guys, I'm gonna do a series. I think I don't know what it's gonna look like yet. I'm still putting that together, but I think we're gonna head into a series on body image. But we've talked a bit about in other videos about the triggers, some of the triggers that get you in that headspace that can just help you spiral. Um, what are the, some of the triggers that you guys have battled? Cal, you wanna just, what are some of the personal ones? Number one is social media. We've okay. talked about this a lot, um, just with us three, but um, even yesterday we went to the water park and we were looking at all of the different bodies that are there and that, and I think we just stood there thinking, you go, what did we say? Like you go on social media and you're on that all day. And so you see all the perfect bodies in the Photoshop and all that. And you're just, in, you're in that all day. And then you go into real life and you're like, oh, and you start thinking differently it's about normal bodies. It's normal <laughs> bodies. Look different yeah. Each other. And so that, I think that is one of the huge triggers for everybody. And so I think for me, I've learned that I've, I'll follow certain people that you notice the thoughts come. And so I make a very conscious decision to unfollow people that yeah. make me think that way or like, I don't know. That and it may not even be that they're trying to say something. It, sometimes it's just the way they're presenting oh, yeah. things that get you going And not even that. Sometimes and... it's just my own thoughts, how I'm reacting to certain people and certain things. And so I just sometimes for my mental like state I need to unfollow that or one. get off my phone or yeah. so social media is definitely a step away biggest one Lux any ideas um another trigger that I think has been for both of us is sometimes going to the gym <laughs> um, for me I'm big in like the health and fitness world but when I started bringing Callie she kind of got to see firsthand is when you see there's all kinds of body types at yeah. the gym it should be more like mm -hmm. a water park but at the mm -hmm. same time there are the top end of the gym the very very fit the perfect bodies yeah. and and suddenly you get around them and not only do you compare your body but you feel kind of out of place so it's like well if they're here looking like that they're probably judging me looking like this here and it's just it can get in your head but the thing is 
you kind of have to come to the realization that they nobody cares. No one's really looking. <laughs> no one's really judging. It's all in in your head. And, yeah. Well, and if they and are I, looking and why, judging, who why cares? Does it matter? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. It, the thing is, you matter. let it get in your head, and once it gets in your head, that's when the spiraling starts. And then you feel like everyone's looking at you, and then yeah. you feel like whatever you wore was a bad outfit choice. You're like, yeah, it just it starts to spiral like that. Well, and all it takes is one look or a comment from somebody that was just being dumb. That gets in your head, and it can, it can totally trigger that all that stuff. What were you thinking? You were gonna say um, one thing that helped me was even just the tiniest little moments of like when bringing it back to where you think you're really alone in body image. It was something as simple as when the other day we were again at the pool, but um, we were like, <laughs> like <to> comparing <laughs> comparing tummies, and I was like, I don't like this about my body, and I don't like this. But then hearing you say like. Okay, well, I don't even notice that. This is what, like, this is about my body. And I was like, well, I don't even notice that. And so it's like, we were sitting at the pool, literally, and like in these bikinis, in these little stretched positions, <laughs> looking at our roles and just like addressing it. And then I even looked at her and I was like, the fact that I'm sitting here in a bikini, like sitting in this position where my roles are out, shows how far I've come. Yeah. yeah. Because I was even at a point, at one point in time, where I wouldn't even like, bend over at the fear of like someone, someone seeing, seeing my roles and I was just like like she was saying you you get so insecure but everyone has but them that's where the skin yeah. has and to go it, there's yeah. no way and seeing someone else has it too and seeing that you've cared so much about it and then hearing that someone else has seen it and, it's and just, doesn't it looks and doesn't think about it the same way you do yeah. you're like oh this isn't that big of a yeah. deal it's normal to have rules in yeah. your tummy it's normal to have you know all of this it's just my brain and i need to stop so okay. part of it a big part of it then <laughs> is what i'm hearing is get get out of your own head and mm -hmm. talk and just talk and share when you don't talk about it like i did for years in junior high high school you it just spirals like we've been yeah. saying the more you stay silent about it i feel like the more you're just going to find more things and to be the more that about. the adversary can get into mm -hmm. your head and tell you you're the only one feeling this way everybody's going to judge you like the more you keep it to yourself yeah. that's why with any type of problem you keep it to yourself and it just eats you alive but talking about it normalizes it and you realize you're not the and only. going back to social media there's always going to be the people the the posts that make you feel worse but it's growing on social media to talk about it, it is. and so i personally it has helped so much to follow the people that are talking about it and posting the things well that and i've seen perfect. both of you post it very which vulnerable does, which honestly vulnerable helps it, it, it changes, changes so much it. It once you finally everything. post something that you're not trying to hide it or you're just talking about it where you're just openly showing it it's like you take ownership of it and it's like mm -hmm. even if you want to judge me about it i'm i'm accepting of well, it well the funny point. part it's is weird. you think that they're judging but how many comments of people who are like i feel the exact same way and, yeah. i feel and like you, and they'll even feel... say you look amazing mm -hmm. and it's just like everyone wants to talk about it everyone wants to support and love but we take it so inward and shut well, ourselves down and then we get this sense of support from each other mm -hmm. like we're in this together and so i think sometimes we think even our own friends and peers are judging or seeing or but the minute you post and, and just give your real life out there which mm -hmm. both of you have done multiple times then it just becomes like hey you two yeah let's support each other let's dialogue about mm -hmm. this and build each other up and, and remind each other that that's not the way to think mm -hmm. and I love that other thoughts we didn't plan this can you tell <laughs> just chatting um I think things specifically about the girls that I have noticed um Cal one of my favorite personal stories here i'm gonna just throw her under the bus <laughs> but your turn's coming so. here for. um if you i don't know how well it shows up on the camera but she has this awesome gray streak right here <laughs> you can show this. it's show it's this. growing too isn't it it's kind of um mm -hmm. when you were in high school it just started with a few you called mm -hmm. them your grannies and, granny and people would start to go wait do you have gray hair and at first we dyed it didn't we we would go and and color the roots and and again this chica has way more gray. <laughs> I would look way more. But you finally, what happened over the last what year? When did oh, you no, finally? No, it's probably, been a couple years. It was high school where you started to just own it. I think it was just it was the same thing. The answer is always the same. It's just me realizing how dumb it is sometimes because you get so caught up in it and I start dying it and because people all they did was make comments, but then it just. For some reason, then it made me self-conscious. But it wasn't like they were negative comments. It was just like, oh, yeah. you have gray streaks. And for some reason, that was like negative. Like, okay, we're dying it. We're not keeping it. That's, yeah, you know. they're judging, but it wasn't. But then the more you realize like, oh, they're not, that's not a bad comment. And most of the time, like, 
it's just, it happens. just curious. Like, oh, cool. Okay. And so once I got out of my head and was like, no, this is how my body is. This is like a part of me. And so I even, I just started growing it out. And, and now that it's how I react now that I show it off almost with things, <laughs> people almost are like, that's so cool. And they say like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. And I just say, yep, they're my granny hairs, you yeah, know, like there's no sense of no. awkwardness around it or shame or insecurity. It's like you said, you own, you own, once you own your body and you show that confidence, I think other people, well, they, totally they respond, they respond yeah. so differently, you know, yeah. and you have that ownership. Which mind. is hard to do because there's a lot of things that we all hate <coughs> about our bodies. And sometimes it's like, I'm not owning that ever. I hate that this or that thing. And, and that's that the thing. takes like, a lot of prayer coming sometimes. Coming down to the grand years, if she hated it, it's it's even breaking down to like, why do you hate it? What makes you insecure What's the about message? it? Like, what, what is the reason that that thing is causing you to spiral and feel so terrible about yourself? And honestly, it can take you down to roots that it's messages from the adversary. It's something yeah. that someone told you a long time ago that just took one so comment much, one comment could that change just it took so much control in yeah. your life and so if you can get down to that and heal that that's going to solve a lot of let the lord rewire that well. message so it's not satan well we give so much of our you. worth to just our body little things like that and then when all of our worth is attached to an outward appearance instead of yeah. our hearts and our connection to the lord like our that's where your joy should be coming every oh. day not from it does my hair look okay you know <laughs> See so why I don't want it to come Amen. out here. Drop the mic. <laughs> okay, last thing, and then we won't we won't go too long. But Lex, I think I wanted you to talk a little bit about. She is a personal trainer and is studying nutrition. She's a coach at an F forty five gym, and so several times a week, she's the one with the head mic on in front of the class coaching people on fitness. And that's been a bit. You'd think she'd be the one that's the most confident because she's in shape and. It's been a struggle. Well, not only from that, but I also came from being a college athlete where it was the same thing where you're supposed to have a very specific body. As a college athlete, they're always so lean and shredded six pack. And then personal trainers, again, so lean, shredded six pack. And, and I never fit that. And it's been probably my biggest struggle with body image my whole life is instead of trying to accept where I was yeah. always just hurting myself, restricting myself, killing myself to, to get look to that, like that, to look like that. And it's caused a lot of problems in my health, but it's finally getting to the point where you, I want, you got to embrace that there's different versions of health and fitness. Yeah. And oh, yeah. that when I am standing in front of them, that they're embracing the fact that I'm teaching them because I do know a lot about strength. I do know a lot about how to get fit and all these things and that my body is my healthy yeah that everyone's healthy yeah. can look different healthy yeah. does not equal yeah. skinny everybody thinks healthy <laughs> but equals skinny, skinny. But skinny Some people skinny. Can. Think. that's the thing skinny can but still it doesn't be healthy have to yes. be. it yes. still can be like yeah. every body but type you... whether you're lean and shredded or whether you're curvy and still fit healthy can look so different yeah. and getting out if of that if you were thin mindset. enough to have a six pack i don't think you'd be healthy that is not how your body was made and if you were but I've somebody been like yeah, somebody can do it really easy that way. exactly and so okay. just, and that's one of the things different. that we give so much value to is a six pack for some reason if you have a six pack you're yeah, exactly. you're healthy that's, and fit yeah. we could do that's a whole video but then on that. i bet <laughs> like and then you whip out like okay but can they run 10 miles while someone that doesn't have a six pack maybe could like yeah you it never know. It doesn't different. define anything. So mm -hmm. the battle continues. So I think we're gonna we're gonna do a lot more videos on this. Like I said, maybe it'll be three. I don't know. Maybe it'll be ten. We'll just see. But <laughs> and I may have them come back at other other times. But I just wanted them on here to just have other voices to say we're like you just did. We're all in this together. Mm -hmm. Like this is so epic for women in terms. Maybe epic is not the right word everyone is affected, mm -hmm. right? Every age, I have talked to women all the way up into their 60s and 70s, but all the way down to 12 and 13, when does it start, right? Mm -hmm. Going through pregnancy, going through aging, body image is a tough one. And it's a battle that continues, but if we have the right tools, right? And we are aware, it doesn't mean we're ever gonna have days where we don't have a, a we're struggling a bit, but we know now how to to manage it and how to maybe do better and not let it, take us down. Thanks for joining us. Hope it was helpful. See you later.